This new gun, Monarch, is incredible. Upon the original release of the Awakened King DLC, we were all excited to use this gun because it has tracking bullets. Sounds awesome. Except it was dealing about half the damage of any other gun in the game at the time. Well, after a more recent patch, this has been fixed and it's climbing its way to the top of the DPS scale. Monarch is an extremely easy gun to use that can deal very high damage. I'm not a big fan of hugs, as they call it, or using Hunter and Gunslinger for range damage. It is the most boring class pairing just because you get nothing but gun damage. Missing out on survivability, interesting skills, and fun co-op synergy. But this build is the exception because Monarch is so fun when firing this fast that you're going to enjoy every second of waving your gun around like a madman. Let's check out the build and then we'll look at the easy boss kills afterwards. Hunter as Prime is going to grant you much more ranged and weak spot damage. It also extends the duration of your extra crit skill by a lot. Hunter's Mark grants us the extra crit chance we need to get higher numbers, and the extra vision is a must in dungeons. Gunslinger grants more range damage, faster fire rate, and better reload speed that we need to make Monarch efficient. Bullet Storm will help you shoot out many more bullets in a shorter amount of time, and is the only Gunslinger skill worth anything here. For armor, we have Bruiser Helmet and Gloves with the High Noon Chest and Boots. I honestly love this fashion and really can't get over how epic it actually looks. For the Relic, we're running the Void Heart. This is just a fun option since it offers a little defense at times and really solid healing. The Relic Fragments we want are Range Crit Chance, Range Crit Damage, and Weak Spot Damage, so those large red numbers show up often. Of course, we're running Monarch, which spews so many bullets. Use its mod to cause bullets to track, and when ramped up, you're going to get 20% more damage and infinite ammo. It's a ridiculously powerful gun that you can use with ease. Very low player skill required for it to be good is what I'm saying. Momentum will make the crit chance on it almost guaranteed. Spectra Blade with Edgelord looks cool and isn't bad in a pinch. We're running the Tech 22 with Corrosive Rounds and Twisting Wounds. This gun already has stupidly high crit and will now apply Corrosion for 10% more damage and Bleed to proc our Amulet's bonus. The Abrasive Whetstone grants more crit damage and chance on bleeding enemies. Probability Cord grants more crit damage. Ring of Infinite Damage increases fire rate, which is honestly what makes Monarch so good. Offering Stone grants 15% more range damage since the gun fires so many bullets out. Xania's Malice then grants 30% more weak spot damage, which is very strong. For traits we want, we must have Affliction and Flashcaster. I ran without Flashcaster for a bit in this run, and due to the weapon's mod, it was messing me up on the Nightweaver. Make sure to have Flashcaster or the popping of skills and mods will be way too slow. Affliction increases the corrosion and bleed duration you have from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. Ammo Reserves grants more ammo. Flashcaster increases the casting speed of mods and skills. Fortify grants you more armor. Long Shot stops your damage from falling off so much at further ranges. Vigor for health. Endurance for stamina. Spirit for mod regen. Expertise for skill cooldown. And Fitness because dodge distance is incredibly helpful. Lastly, we have Glutton because using your Relic Fast is really nice. Also, make sure to have the Dark Fluid Concoction to get out of enemy range better, and then because we have the Affliction trait, you want to grab some Pipe Bombs from Reggie in Ward 13. These will apply Bleed for a full minute on this build, which lets you get your Amulet's bonus without swapping weapons. Really solid option for bosses. You can run Challenger with this gun or use Twisting Wounds for better application of bleed. However, this was what I found to work better for me. Momentum is way too good to give up here and Challenger's skill doesn't last long enough to keep the damage consistent. Monarch is by far the most user-friendly DPS weapon as it lets you be very creative in combat and honestly, it's a blast to use overall. Here's my full run of the game with the build and do try this one as it was an awesome way to play Remnant 2. You can have thick skin and hardy. I bet you every boss in this run has thick skin. At least close to it. M most of the time they give you thick skin if you're running crit. Nope, we got lucky. I dodged so early. It's awesome. All right, I should be able to hit him now, because I latched it. I think I can hit him without aiming. The heck? It does let you do some weird stuff.
You can use it as an SMG when it's locked onto a different target. Actually pretty darn good for Legion. All right, give me a second here. I'm just worried about the time on that. Very low maintenance type of gun. I just haven't been able to get him when he's open. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd probably be dead by now. There we go. Look at that damage. Come on, open your stupid head. Dang! Hey, what I say about Hardy, though? What did I say about Hardy? I'm like, every boss about to have it. That damage is beautiful. All right, we're going to try and go for max damage here. I have to be wary of these little things here. Shredded it! Absolutely shredded that thing. Trying to undo the mod and it won't do it right now. There we go. Monarch melts. If he had been, if I had let the golem go all the way back to the back of the arena, and then I had let the corruptor fly further, I would have actually got him first phase, I think. I like fire rate better. Most of the time. Take it back. Weak spot might be the way to go. I just hit 500. I take it back. Weak spot might be the way to go. The heck was that?
What in the world? You mean I was running it with less damage? And it was still that good? Okay, this might be the best weapon in the game. I jacked that up, didn't I? Loving Monarch over Typewriter for ammo efficiency. Yeah. Monarch is just a monster now. It's going to beat out a lot of guns. Alright, it's not as efficient as the Bulldog, but nothing is. The Bulldog is king in this fight. I'm probably going to stick to the tech. Tech is going to be more efficient, I think. Yep. Got to hit this. Nice. Can get that one. Nice. I think I'm missing one cube on my one above me. Oh, that didn't feel good. Where's it at, though? I can't find it. I think it's right here. Dang it! I missed it again. The tech is good for this, but it's not the best. Again, the reload hurts it for something like this. I gotta fire too many bullets. Alright, I got the cube, though. Nice. All right, that's everything over there. I was slightly behind there, kind of scared me. Should be good to go. Nice. What kind of reach was that? Oh my word. I told you I was going to die to Lawson. Huh. If ever I saw a bad situation, that was it. Alright, got ambushed by pigs. They trashed me. Did not expect that. There you are.
It's just try to get it attached to her head. That's the only trouble I'm having. Maybe I just don't attach it. Pretty good damage boost, though. I'm telling you, Hunter for boss fights, unbeatable, man. See where everything is the whole time. Don't hide from me. All right, she just left. I don't really want to be stuck in this back corner here. I mean, it melts her. That's a tough... It's not really a tough fight. It's just the fact that she's moving around a lot, so it's kind of hard to just keep firing my gun at her. And I don't think my mod on this was super advantageous, but overall, the damage, really solid. It does screw with you a little bit. I notice I get hit every time I do the animation. But. I was close. I almost didn't dodge that because I didn't think she was going to get it off. This is what Magister is going to be like, so I hope you're ready for that. The zero weak spot damage. I don't know what this empower thing is. Come on. I'm able to hit the weak spot. Definitely hits. Just not a very good fight for this weapon. Actually, it's curving up into his weak spot. Not awful. This is a really tough one. But our damage is not bad. It 
It's just such a stamina fight, dude. It's all about stamina. And I have none now, because he's just spamming me with stuff. Are we okay? Back into it with our damage. Feeling pretty solid with this gun right now against Magister. It curves up under his mouth into his weak spot. I didn't expect that. It's a complete game changer. Again, I'm in the, I can't I can't dodge again. It's this freaking this stupid animation. The one downside of this gun, this animation sucks. I re I'm just confused right now. I've never had an issue with Nightweaver. We first tried her last time. I just can't get it going. I'm debating on Flashcaster. I really am. The skill casting on this is so slow. We need to activate so many things for combat, too. Damage numbers are so amazing if you have weak spot, though. Yeah, look, my dot. It's because I'm holding down the fire. I need to stop doing that. It does so much stagger. I'm breaking her into her face. This is the best gun in the game to get the claws. By far, it's so easy to stagger her. You just latched onto her heart, cracking me up. This stupid freaking animation. It's really annoying. too early it's really hard to see anything this gun is is kind of a double-edged sword it really is it is it, very annoying with this animation to be able to actually fight the enemy I'm not a fan of that having an animation. It's very, very annoying. Come up only just now. She should be easier though. She's a lot easier in this phase. I 
I can get a lot of damage off. I really do think I'm gonna switch into flash cast or flash cast. That was a very good suggestion. It just feels like that's what I need for this build. That way it stops slowing down the, the combat so much. All right, we are not, we're not locking on, I don't think. Unless I can somehow lock on to the bug and not the big bloater. Let's try to do that. No, well, it locked on to nothing, so go ahead and guess we can't do that. Ad clear is going to be an issue for this one. All right, I got him. I got him that time. Yeah, baby. I uh, did almost no damage, so my yeah, baby was a little too soon, I think. It does most of its damage when you have the bug in the guy still. Alright, there's one guy on me and somehow I had a double dodge. I gotta run around more. These bugs are latching onto me too much. I mean, I can absolutely destroy when I hit those weak spots. It's pretty cool. Gun damage in general is usually not very good for hatchery. It obviously depends, but it's usually not very good. His regenerator is really what's killing us right now. That is easily the worst to fix to get on the hatchery boss. Guns reloaded. Ah. <laughs> Not a very good gun for hatchery. Gonna run for a bit. What? I think that's why a lot of people don't like this fight. They fight him with gun builds, and they're like, he sucks with gun builds. Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> He's a mod build and a... That's basically it. AoE's... Four relics left, not great. That can stop happening. 20 feet from the bullet keeps getting me still. All 
All right, that's my only way to do damage is to wait until he's on his back. It's doing a ton. There we go. Yeah, for some defense. Should be able to get him here. If he turns the right way. I'm not sure what that is. That's an attack that I never realized existed. He su whenever he screams, they all shoot at you. Never noticed that before. Alright, we're close. I only got one relic left. My favorite. We got him. Brain Regenerator. Should still be locked onto him. Yep. Cannot break projectiles with it, though. Something to know. Also, he's immune to bleeding, so my amulet's doing nothing. It's fun. The wall? The wall! The wall's killing me! The wall. Alright, we're fine. As long as you stay locked on, it doesn't switch. It doesn't switch. No matter the phase transition. So even if they leave for a second, they change form, turn into an orb, it don't freaking matter. It still locks right onto them. This gun is very impressive. I wasn't even in it! Oh, I didn't- I changed the death. My bad. He's just not a boss made for gun damage. He's made for high burst, quick damage, all of a sudden. And you only really get that with melee. You can get that with certain gun builds too, but not this one. This gun is a more sustained damage. At least I think it is. Lead, but always got to reload at the wrong time, there, buddy. There's some damage. That was really good damage, actually. Kind of impressed. Yeah. 
think what it was is I hit his his hand and his arm at the same time. Just can't see it. There we go. Keep missing that long one because I'm aimed in. That's the only downside of the tech for that. Probably one of the better range builds I've used against Shahala. I still would fight him with melee every time, but that wasn't bad. Well, you can't beat dodging into an explosive that insta-kills you. Brain Spiteful. Again, the fixes have been very generous today. Gonna be a hard one to hit in the weak spot. Yeah, I can't really hit his weak spot very well because the bullets kind of go through him. They're also angled a little bit, it looks like. Oh, if I stand back, I gotta stand back a little bit. Dang it. Stand back, die, okay. Yeah, I... Not super easy to hit his back. It's really just the gist of everything. You need to make sure to be on his right side. If you're on his left, it doesn't hit him. Uh-oh. That's not what you want. I would say it's not a very good gun for cancer, all things considered. I could have assumed that, though. Before I even bought him. I mean, it still does, does good damage. It's not like it's a bad gun for him. It's just not the best option in the game. I would say Deceit probably works better there. A little too hard to hit that weak spot. Thick skin. Weak spot. <laughs> He's hiding it from me. Thick skin really does hurt crit as well.
such an easy game to play with. You're obviously going to have a damage fall off from this far away, but... Flashcaster made every difference in the entire world. Flashcaster was such a big change. It's so easy to play now. That was our problem with Nightweaver, was that it, it, there's just everything culminating together was so difficult to use. And now with Flashcaster, you just pop everything in a second. It's so easy. Party. I don't know, what do you think? You think it's good? I think it's freaking great. Ha! <laughs> it's so overpowered! Stays locked onto his head, too. That's good. No ball phase. No ball phase because we killed him so fast. That's one of the easiest ways I've ever killed Annihilation. It's better than Deceit for Annihilation. I don't know if it's better than Crescent Moon, but it's up there. Much lower effort than Crescent Moon. Instead of building into, like, charge speed and all that stuff, you just build into crit, get more damage out of it. Easily best weapon in the game currently. Easily best weapon in the game. 13, or 3 hours, 17 minutes.